Which of these stories will you be talking about tomorrow? We have winners and highlights from FBLA Regionals. Kaleidoscope has exclusive coverage. Countdown starts now, or Kaleidoscope is next, I mean. You're watching IHS TV, Channel 11. And now, Barry Harris, Laura Boyd, and the K-Scope News Team. This is Kaleidoscope News This Morning. Good morning, everyone. Today is Monday, January 12th. I'm Laura Boyd. And I'm Barry Harris. Well, we're happy with that Eagles win this weekend. Got my jersey on, show my Eagles pride. We have a much more of that. As you know, we'll have details on that coming up on sports. But first, over to weather. Hi, I'm Paul with the weather. Today will be cloudy with a high of 33 and tonight's low will be 27. The current temperature is 26 degrees with the humidity at 70% and the barometric pressure is at 30.15 and steady. And now we're to birthdays. This is Kristen Ryan with the birthdays. The birthdays for today are Lauren Monroe, Andrew Benton, Sandra Shaka Chavez, Josh Fire, Sam Pascarella, and Charlene Frank. Happy birthday. Now over to today's headline. This is Tom with today's headline. The National Safety Council is advocating a nationwide ban on cell phone usage while driving, saying that it is a dangerous practice that has led to countless deaths. Now back to the news desk. This year's topic for the American Legion essay contest is how can we expand our energy resources. See Mr. Fultz in room 212 or your English teacher for more details. The deadline is January 28th. Student sign-ups for the sumo wrestling tournament will take place today at all lunches and briefly after school. We have learned that Ms. Catino, Mr. Lavery, Mr. Ryder, Mr. Stablo, Mr. Milai, and Mr. Kloss will be participating and getting into gear. It will take place Friday at 3.30. The Digital Media Club will meet tomorrow after school in the TV studio classroom. Come out and see teachers prove that they are smarter than a 10th grader Tuesday, January 27th at 7 p.m. Money will benefit the sophomore class Congress. All student bills must be paid in order to purchase tickets for the junior-senior party. Please see Mrs. Claus to check on your pay or bill. Now over to sports. Good morning. This is Allie and Jim with today's sports. The girls' basketball team goes up against Upper Dublin tonight at home. JV is at 3.30 and Varsity is at 5.30. The boys' freshman basketball team has a game today at the Hatford School at 3.45. The girls' basketball team defeated Moyer Academy on Friday night, 58-28. And the boys' basketball team lost to Glen Mills on Friday. The Eagles defeated the New York football giants at their house last night, 23-11, advancing them to the NFC Championship game, where they will dispose of the red-hot Arizona Cardinals. That's it for sports. Now over to the news desk. The junior and senior party tickets will be sold at all lunches Monday through Thursday this week. No other tickets will be sold after Thursday. Ticket prices are $20 for one person or $35 for a couple. Student Council is sponsoring a homeroom drive competition throughout this week. Bring money and canned food into your homeroom and you could win a free breakfast. The items will go to Lowe's and Fishes. We want to say congratulations to the High Q team who came in second place at their matchup against Strathaven. FBLA highlights are coming up a little bit later on, but first over to the menu item of the day. Hi, this is Nick with the menu. Today we'll have double tacos with meat, cheese and salsa, seasoned corn, mandarin, oranges, and 1% chill milk. Now over to the vocab word. Hey, did you know your head is bigger than your whole body? Ha! <laughs> Unbelievable! This is Rob at the Vocab Word. Today's word is irascible, meaning easily angered. For example, this guy is very irascible. Now we're the quote of the day. This is Amy with quote of the day. Charles Bukowski once said, We are here to laugh at the odds and live our lives so well that death will tremble to take us. Now over to this day in history. This is Joe and Mike with this day in history. On this day, 1946, the first meeting of the United Nations General Assembly took place with 51 nations representing. Also, this day, 1969, the final issue of the Saturday Evening Post appeared after 147 years of publication. Now over to trivia. Hi, this is Harrison with the Points Trivia. Did you know penguins have an organ above their eye that converts seawater to fresh water? Now over to entertainment. This is Chris with entertainment. Here's a video game coming out this week, and it is Lord of the Rings Conquest. Now back to the news desk. Itterboro took home the title of Outstanding Chapter at the FBLA Regionals held at Haverford High School. 
Adam Moore was kind enough to bring us back some exclusive footage. You can see what it's like inside the testing center. You can see they're working very hard, and it was a hard test, a lot of them tell me. A number of Interboro students took home first place, and here they are as follows. Zach Harrison for Accounting 2, Elliot Timlin for Business Procedures, Dan Longale for FBLA Principles, Amy Giacomucci for Intro to Business Communications, Mary Kate Heineman for Marketing, Joe Call and Scott Eckert for Management Decision Making, and Wendy Chappas for Job Interview. FBLA is under the direction of Mrs. Barker, who also served as FBLA Regional Director. We want to congratulate all the winners of Interboro from FBLA, and I hope you guys had a good time. Yeah, we had a good time, Barry. That's it, everyone. Thanks for watching Cloudy Scoop. I'm Laura Boyd. And I'm Barry Harris, over and out.